My name's Hunter. I live in a simple farm with my simple family. And people label us because of that. They call us hillbillies, bumpkins, boars, backwoods, buck-toothed hill people. I've been called worse, too. But I'm not just a farmer's son. I love working with computers, too. When I was five, I taught my very first computer to play It's a Small World while pictures of awesome dinosaurs walked all over the screen. I fell in love with coding very early, and because of it, I've been a part of the deepest corners of the internet and heard whispers about crypto way before your average Joe even heard about it. I got into it the moment Bitcoin was created, and I was one of the people who got Bitcoins for free way back in the day. I sat on those for a while. I was so excited about it. I started telling my friends. But they'd just roll their eyes at me. This again? Nobody's interested in your fantasy money, nerd. But it's gonna blow up. If you invest even a tiny bit now, you could become millionaires when it takes off. <laughs> okay, Mark Zuckerberg. Let me know when your geese lay golden eggs. Nobody at school saw me more than a farmer's son. They all looked down on me. They think I'm weird. Some girls even started calling me Penny Boy because they all assumed I was poor just because my family were farmers. What you got there, Penny Boy? Ooh, is that a cell phone? I'm so shocked you even know how to use one. Look! Penny boy, it's your cousin. Or should I call her your girlfriend? <laughs> when I confessed to my crush, who, by the way, isn't related to me at all, she just laughed in my face. Excuse me? Are you asking me out on a date, Penny boy? Won't your cousin get jealous? Or... Your sister? <laughs> Her friends laughed. And they pointed. And they never let me live that down. Things like that made me decide that I wanted to prove them wrong. Every time they called me a hillbilly, I wanted to show them that this hillbilly was going to be their boss one day. By day, I tilled the fields. And by night... I was a professional hacker. I sold my services to people, helping them hack into cheaters' accounts or getting back the money that was scammed out of them. I took from the evil and gave back to the victims. I certainly fancied myself as a cyber Robin Hood. While doing that, I met a fellow hacker. I only knew him as Megafirm95. He was just as good as me. Even better. We teamed up and hacked the most evil of organizations. We hacked small-time scammers, and then corporations. Anyone who ever did anything evil, we took down and we gave all the money to the poor. When I had enough cash, I bought my first mining computer. And then I began mining crypto. Back then, it was nothing. Nobody knew what mining was. And I got so much for so little effort. As the days rolled by, I was able to mine my first full Bitcoin. I took out most of my hacking money and I put it into starting my own crypto farm. I bought more computers, more GPUs, but Megafirm95 started getting restless. He was jealous. He told me I was losing focus and that I was neglecting our hacking escapades. Hacking was fun, sure, but it wasn't something I wanted to do forever. I just wanted to do it so I could buy more computers and farm more crypto. Megafirm95 stopped talking to me after that. He just... vanished. Eventually, I had 30 computers working 24-7, mining the world's most successful and visible money. My dad was furious when he saw the power bill. I handed him a wad of cash and he looked at me as if I was some alien. Wh where did you get this? I took my family down to the barn and showed them what I did to it. Wall to wall, there were wires and flashing lights. Desks and shelves and fans lined every inch. And 30 computers roared with effort. 
What have you done to the barn? Where is Calliopatra and Mark Coutany going to sleep? Chill, Mom. I built them a nicer barn just behind the corn hedge over there. And then I showed them how much money I had. And I tell you, Mammy and Daddy both fainted. Mom and my sister had to carry them both to a chair and fan them till they regained consciousness. At home and online, I was a hero. But at school, I was still the kid everyone thought was going to marry his cousin. The guys made me do embarrassing things. I was always the one who they used as a form of entertainment. When they were bored, they dared me to glue Coach Carter's shoes to the floor. Only, the dare was more a command, and it got me detention. When I refused to do what they wanted, they locked me in the girls' toilets. You should just learn to follow orders, Penny Boy! It's good practice, because one day, you're going to work for us. What they didn't know was that I'd already made enough money to buy the whole school. I could buy their dad's businesses if I wanted. My barn wasn't filled with animals, but was fully kitted out with the latest technologies and 30 computers with GPUs that they could only dream of having, mining crypto 24-7. The farm transformed in a matter of months. Dad didn't have to till the fields manually anymore. I bought him the most expensive tractors and fitted it with everything he'll ever need. I installed automated irrigation systems, and we built a whole tent just for hydroponics. Name any cutting-edge agriculture equipment, and we had it. And on the prettiest hill on the property, I built my parents the farmhouse of my parents' dreams. I built Mammy her very own cottage where she can have her privacy, and then I paid for my sister's wedding to her boyfriend. It had been a very long time since my family was that happy. And I was glad that I was able to give them a life they deserved. But then suddenly crypto became a big thing. Overnight millionaires popped up everywhere. The Bitcoin I was hoarding? Well, I thought it was going to turn into millions. It became billions. With a capital B. My old classmates came running to me, begging me for a Bitcoin. Come on, bud. For old time's sake. Yeah, man, I, I wish we would have listened to you. We could have been millionaires by now, uh, just like you said. Well, uh, hmm. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. And I slammed the door on their faces. It made normal people wealthy. But it also had its downsides. Competition became fierce. Suddenly, so many people could afford to mine crypto. And I had some very jealous rivals. I was on a chartered flight, on my way to a crypto convention. There were supermodels serving me as flight attendants. I distinctly remember the pilot coming to meet me and sharing a drink with me. I saw him smile, and that was it. I blacked out. When I woke up, I was in some medieval-looking prison. And then I realized I was in some dungeon in a fortress. And my supermodel flight attendants were all tied up all around me. Let me out! Get me out of here! Shh. Jeez... You're going to bring the walls down with that voice of yours. This fortress is 400 years old, you know. I had only seen him on TV. On WooTube. On covers of magazines. W Will? <laughs> Will Bates? The one and only... You sent that virus to my crypto farm, didn't you? You're my mysterious rival. Because of you, I had to build my crypto farm back up from scratch. It sent me back months. That's it? 
What do you mean, that's it? You really have no idea who I am? What do you mean I have no idea? You're Will Bates, billionaire eccentric, owner and founder of... Mega Firm. Wait. No. No, you're joking. You're him. How didn't I see it before? You're... Mega Firm 95, aren't you? <laughs> the one and only. Will hacked for fun. He didn't need the money. He was just so good at it that he found it fun to hack people and give their money away. And now I'm going to hack your crypto wallet. I'm going to destroy your crypto farm so we can go back to what we do best. So we can go on hacking adventures again. Wouldn't you just love that, bestie? No! No, please! You can't do this! Will! But Will had already disappeared. I panicked. I didn't want to see all my hard work go to waste. My friends would laugh at me again when they see me fail. My family, the life I wanted to build for them, would be all gone. Does anyone have anything sharp? The flight attendants bowed their heads. But luckily, I remembered this video I watched with a Navy SEAL before. He talked about how to get out when tied up by ropes. I wiggled my arms as violently as I could. It only took five minutes. The rope definitely slacked. I slipped my hands out, and with my hands free, I untied my feet. I freed every single one of the supermodels and told them to run. I ran upstairs and found a computer. And just before Will could hack into my crypto wallet, I managed to find a computer and transfer all my funds into a secret wallet I had for a rainy day. Well, I definitely underestimated your tenacity. Will, this has got to stop. If I stopped when people told me, do you think I could have built Megafirm? No. Now, if you want to get out of here in one piece, you're going to have to fight me. Will, you're ancient. I'm not going to fight a 67-year-old man. You fool! I'm into hacking battle. Winner takes all. You win, you take everything. I win. I get to destroy your crypto farm, and you have to be my hacking partner for eternity! But Will lost before we even started. I had already hacked through his systems, and before his fingers could touch a key, the power went down. Will then put up a fight, and I won his estate fair and square. I drove him out. We kind of became friends over time, but I'm glad he doesn't try to drag me into hacking again. I compromised, and every other weekend, we'd meet up in the underground bunker in the estate. And for the entire weekend, we'd just have fun hacking corrupt government officials and exposing their sins to the public. To thank me for saving them, the flight attendants refused to leave the estate. They vowed to serve me for as long as I wanted. Thanks to everything that happened, I became infamous. I even got featured in Time Magazine as one of the biggest crypto billionaires. Will introduced me to his tech giant friends, and I became the toast of Silicon Valley. Our hacking battle became legend. Will was always the first to brag about how fast I beat him. It was actually embarrassing how he always tells that story. But... I'm just glad we didn't part on a bitter note like we did before. It was even thanks to Will that I met my wife. He introduced me to her on one of the secret parties that only Silicon Valley CEOs attend. Mila and I live in Will's estate now, and we have two lovely kids. Now, 
those people who used to look 